Life with Ben, only on PTV. We've got another tasting video here. A couple of months ago, I ordered this from walmart.com. It's a limited edition set of a lot of different Oreo products for cakes to be mixed. There's uh, there's a brownie mix, a uh, lava cake mix. There's, there's like four mixes in here. So this was put together by Betty Crocker. Comes Didn't with a they bed. do the Reese's stuff? Oh, so they did not... do the Reese's stuff. Oh, sad. So, yeah, we may be in for a real nice surprise here. We'll see. But we've got the chocolate cake mix, the white cake mix, brownie mix, and I don't know how this is going to compare to what we get from Gear Deli, which will be coming in a future episode, and the lava cake mix. Is there anything else in this box? Yes, there are two cans of frosting. Oh, plastic oh, frosting. Oh, no. Yes. So we're in for a treat. Oh, no. Oh, gross. It, it feels like we just did this before. <laughs> well, we did. Last time we did it with Reese's. This time we're doing it with Oreo. Thank you, Betty Crocker, again. Yeah. Well, Dose, Betty Crocker. Well, well, we'll see if Betty Crocker fails or actually wins on this one. She didn't do well on Reese's, that's no. for sure. No. It is but, a big spoon. Yeah. Oh, the swag of this thing was great. <laughs> but we're gonna start with the chocolate cake mix. That's the chocolate cake mix. So we put it on top of the chocolate bit, the, the Oreo Yeah, bit. the recipe called to put the, the chocolate bits on top or inside the batter, but we thought, no, let's just put it on top of this one. Grab the frosting, Arnie. It comes with four mixes, but it also comes with two cans of cream flavored white frosting. And we're curious as to what the flavor of the frosting is, if it's close enough to an actual Oreo or if it's something that is Oreo-ish. Oh, you need more plates. Cream flavored whipped frosting, artificially flavored. So we're gonna try it with, now I want the frosting separate, so. So put a dollop of frosting. Can I have a piece of cake? Okay, this is the, the chocolate cake. I don't eat the heels, so I don't do corners. A serving is two tablespoons oh, of this, I can't I'll, I'll, imagine. I'll or do you want to eat that one? I'll, I'll have the coin. I cannot imagine having two tablespoons of this. Even that is a, a lot. Oh, okay. it's definitely whipped. Okay, I don't eat this much. Okay. It looks like spackle. It, it looks like Crisco. I mean, it's just whipped <laughs> Crisco. It's sugary Crisco. First, I'm going to try to taste it, see if it tastes like the inside of an Oreo. Oh, you're trying the frosting? Oh, yeah. Does it taste like the cream of, a, of, a, of an Oreo? Actually, yeah, it does. It does, it's very close. It's not it's vanilla. Good. It tastes like the- It tastes like the, yeah. It tastes like the filling just very wet. Yeah. Oh, especially afterward. Yeah. You get that yeah. aftertaste flavor. Well, you know what I'm talking about. The, the frosting was meant to spread on top of the chocolate cake and the white cake. Uh, I think the brownies stand alone by themselves. The cake? Yeah, the brownies don't need it. No, but once we get to the brownies, we will not need frosting. But this we, we left the Oreo chunks that each cake mix came with on top of this cake. We mixed it into the white cake. So there's a little bit of a difference. It's um, it's a standard Betty Crocker cake mix. Yeah, it's it's fine. It just it does need the frosting though. I mean, actually, oh my gosh. It you does. add the frosting to the cake. It is. It, it is, tastes yeah. like an Oreo. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And it's, it's really good. So wh what do you think, Doug? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's, yeah, a, thumb that's think... a thumbs up. So far, Betty, you're... One for one. Yeah. Next up is the white cake mix. Now, hold it up so everyone can see what we're, we're consuming. It, it's just a standard white cake with Oreo chunks in it. It was the oddest thing when we pulled the pack out of the box to mix it, the mix was white. But then as we added 
the ingredients, the egg and the water, all of a sudden these little chocolate bits emerge to make it look like a cookies and cream cake. Yeah, it's it's kind of it's, it's it was actually kind of weird. We're having petty for sizes because uh, we have a lot to taste. Okay, let's hold um, on. So we, we each need a dollop of frosting. Yeah, a little goes a long way, people. Oh. <laughs> oh my gosh! I wanted to get it off. Oh, it's contaminated, but that's okay. I got cake crumbs. Well, I'll make sure that doesn't stay contaminated. Yeah, I'm, I'm good. Try the cake with that up. It's very white. It's very bland. Yeah, it's very bland, very dry without. Well, frosting. we probably shouldn't have done it in a nine by nine. Maybe it should have been an eight by eight, which is what. Let's say eight by eight or nine by nine. We went with nine by nine. But let me try it with, the with cake a little too. bit of the frosting. Oh, if you, the frosty makes a big it difference. Makes a huge, it makes a yeah, definitely. The one thing a found, little goes a long way. Yeah. One thing about the frosting that's not coyly sweet. No, it's not. It's it. Actually, I was expecting it to be just like straight sugar, and yeah, it's not. No. It's actually well balanced. Yeah, I would say. What do you think? Thumbs up on this one. I, it's by a little. I mean, because the cake. Um, I mean, it's, I like it's chocolate. Not, it's, it's not awful. No, right, no. So let, let's let's see. Let's Let me see which one I'm gonna do. Mm. Yeah, I'm gonna give it one. <laughs> it's it's actually a pleasant yeah. surprise, and it actually does taste very Oreo-ish. Mm-hmm. It's cookies and cream. Yeah, it's kind of like eating uh, a cake version of an it's yeah. it. Yeah, yeah. Oh, there's there's cookies and cream ice cream. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. Okay. I, I can recommend this. We're gonna try the brownie mix next. This yeah. one was just a standard brownie. You had an option of one egg or two eggs, and I opted for the two eggs because they said, the instructions say it gives a more cakey feel as opposed to being a little bit more rigid, like a standard brownie, but... Right. I like fluffy brownies. Like what they call fudgy brownie. It's very. Yeah. Doug and I are more fudgy. We 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 would have gone with just one egg, but because I'm, I'm a cake like, but I like but because the fudge. Ben got this kit. It was his call. Okay, <laughs> let's. Thank um, you. Are you gonna need a real knife? Mm -hmm. oh, it definitely no. has that brownie consistency. Okay, let's set. That do we aside. want? Do we want to have the frosting with this? Oh God, no. That would be like. Well. It, you know what? You could put frosting on Let's it. Let's try I mean, it with frosting. Oh, they definitely have that. I do like a cake-like bad brownie, but I like it more. It's almost chewy. It, it, I made that one brownie that one time, and oh my god, I married the it. The one with the crackle top? Yeah, I married it. It was that Here, good. I, I thought having the frosting as an option, because it might make it taste more like an Oreo. It has the cake consistency. Paul, go ahead and do that. Doug, okay. you can try some of this if you want. I don't know. I think I'm, I'm, I like plain. Yeah, this is definitely, it's a brownie. Yeah, it's a brownie. But let me try with a little bit of the Oreo frosting. It gives it a little bit more. I bet not, it's more. not just a little more. It actually tastes like an Oreo. Yeah, because of the it's, brownie. It's yeah, a, yeah an Oreo the brownie, brownie if, with the frosting. If, you, or, if Oreos were sold in the stores as a brownie with this frosting. No, okay, I'm gonna say. Oh, this is the closest thing to an Oreo. Yeah, yeah. it's delicious. Yeah, you yeah, actually the need brownies, the brownie needs the frosting. Definitely, I, I would say. That's weird. So far, this is the best one. Yeah. That is absolutely weird how they made the cookie into a brownie, made it more chocolatey, and it actually tastes like an Oreo. Yeah. And this has Oreo pieces in it too. Yeah, this, the brownie mix by far is the, the winner. So, yeah, it's, oh, it's really good. I'm pleasantly surprised with all the that things that we've tried That one is so definitely, far. Big one. That's a big, big one. one. That's a uh, big Betty one. Yeah, that's a big one. Out of the food we've tried so far. Yeah. yeah. 
Yeah, definitely. We're three Stone for three. Three, three, three for three. three. Mm-hmm. Doug's working on our final item. These are the Oreo lava cakes. I'm pretty sure they're molten coming right out of the oven. Yeah, the instructions were to get these directly out of the oven, which is why... Oh, that's, that's, that's a good idea. That's not been my first rodeo, people. Here I go. Oh, that's cute. Okay, it popped out. Okay, first of all, you want to cut it, so you want to make sure it oozes. And they are lava. They're, oh, they're oozy. They, oh, that's nice. Yeah, oh, and it's and nice and hot. hot. Yeah, I'm afraid of burning myself. There's steam but, coming off yeah. of this thing. There were, there were bits inside the mix, just like the other three, right? Yeah, there were. In fact, I think there were chocolate chips in this one, too. Oh, you guys went right through it. I like my taste buds too much. It's not that hot. It's not that hot. And it's delicious. It's actually a very good chocolate taste to it. Yeah. A very good chocolate flavor. Let me try it with a little bit of the Oreo, too. Yeah, they, there were Oreo bits on on top as you baked it, so they end up being on the bottom when you turn it over. We need to clean it up, and it smells like bacon. <laughs> You've got a refined palate. Yeah. Though. I mean, they, no, it, they're delicious. They no, they are. They are. Now, this is definitely a. Would you give this one a thumbs up? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I would. Um. Too. It is, it's actually very good. I mean, who doesn't like hot molten cake? Well, we should be drinking moo juice instead of water. But, uh, <laughs> because you're supposed to have it with chocolate. But, but uh, I, I think, that was, yeah. That was a lot of chocolate. It was though. a lot of chocolate. But four for four. I, who knew? I didn't think so. I, you don't. I thought there'd be at least one. Yeah, yeah, you don't have to buy the big box of rama and get all four of no, them. I'm no, sure these, they're still. These are individually you, you purchased. Can, yeah, you well, can yeah. get these. The, like, yeah, I think you can, <laughs> you, you can get these all individually. The, the box. The that mix. box was a limited edition. Yeah, it, yeah. It, even, box. It, it, it came with its own little spoon here. This too. was definitely the winner. The not a little spoon. It came with a big, big. Oh yeah, it came with spoon. its own swag. Yeah. That was worth just getting the box. They're fun. Again, yeah. it's yeah. Oreos. It, it, it's just coincidental that Arnie and Doug finished a Betty Crocker jigsaw puzzle oh, while nice. I was here. Yeah, and it's just it's, just it's a collection of Betty Crocker cookbooks. <laughs> if I were to choose one to say it was the best, I would say the brownies. Yeah, next. To I the would lava. go with the brownies first, then the lava cake, yeah. then the chocolate cake next. Chocolate cake is and, just... and the white cake. While it was okay, it was. The least, least of the four of them. Yeah, but none of them were bad. No. It's just a pleasant surprise. Betty redeemed herself. Yeah. Now we'll just have to see how the brownies hold up to when we do a gear deli episode. Maybe not next week, but at some point in the near future. Oh, I think we break. <laughs> I, this, is, this is a lot of chocolate and sweet. Remember, adventure is out there.